I woke up at about 10 o'clock and went to bed around 2. Another solid 8 hours of sleep. Would have went, went to bed a little sooner, but I wanted to wait for the video to render so I could upload it. And now I'm making French toast. And today, there's an excellent chance it's not going to be a bike day because it looks like it's freaking raining out. No big deal though because I should probably take a day off and recover because um, to be fair, my body hurts like hell right now. Not even going to sugarcoat that. And But I could, I could fart my pants off if that counts as anything because I just farted my pants off. Yeah, I'm going to take today as a recovery day. So we are officially 300 kilometers deep in the first week of the challenge. So that's pretty good because the challenge started last Saturday and week one finished this Saturday, making it uh, one week in, 300 kilometers in, 525 more to go. So like I said, this week I work nine to five, Monday to Friday. And when I am done my shifts, I could always jump out there, hop on the bike, and go for a rip, get like 20, 30 kilometers in each day. If I do 30 kilometers per day for five days, that's 150 kilometers right there. And even if I did 20, that's 100. That takes us up to 400 kilometers completed and almost at the halfway point in two weeks. That's not too bad. Not to mention next weekend, if it's nice, you can give her then. But that's if I only do that many kilometers, right? Like, I really want to get this said and done so I can maybe do something else this summer. What? I have no idea. But it'd be nice to do something more than just ride a bike for the next month. I'm sure the videos aren't that entertaining. Well, maybe you guys like this kind. I don't know. I don't know. I changed the way the thumbnail looks because I do that. The reason why I quit using the old red, white, and black font is because uh, it's literally the Trailer Park Boys font, if you haven't clued in. And I was like, you know what? I want to I want to develop my own my own brand, and I don't even know how to do that. I don't understand it. Like, there's people who've built their brand, made logos for themselves, and it looks awesome. And I just have a head. <laughs> That's my brand, the Vlog and Life head, which is just my my head. It's it is what it is. But I that's why I decided to get away from the whole uh, having the Trailer Park Boys font. And then the whole idea of the pandemic vlogs, I was like, you know what? With the way people are acting nowadays, are we really in a pandemic? <laughs> like, I see some people that are, like, somewhat taking the whole thing serious. And then I see even my own family members that are going out of their way to visit other people in other cities that are in the southern. Like, right now, in, in up north, we have next to no cases for for, for the pandemic. Where down south, it's a little bit more of a hot spot. And like I got like family who traveled down south because every year at this, this weekend, every year, we do a family reunion at a campground in Dunville. And it was canceled this year for obvious reasons. But a lot of them were like, well, that's not fair. I wanted to do something. Jesus Christ, I'm being punished. I'm going to go down there anyway. And they did. And now they're all hanging out at my cousin's house drinking beers. So... Not saying they're gonna get it, but I'm just saying not exactly a prudent form of uh, actions taken. But like I say, is it really an isolation vlog? Is it really a pandemic vlog? I'm only associating myself with one person. I don't hang out with all my friends, all my muscle dummy friends and all that anymore. I don't, uh, you know, there's a lot of opportunities I had to go out on boats and go fishing. Like my buddy Mitch offered to take me out. My neighbor said he would too. But it's like, guys, we're still in a pandemic here. We can't be doing this. We can't be hanging out. Uh, my buddy Craig offered the same thing. Like, I got a lot of friends with boats. I just, you got to keep them separated for crying out loud until we nip this in the arse. Or go the other route and just let everybody get infected and only the strong survive, right? Let it do what it was intended to do. Lower the population of the planet. Because, like, holy frig, there's only two options here, boys. Either we... Keep them separated, or we all go congregate at somewhere and have a purge. Have a purge, because that's literally what's going to happen. Well, I guess we'll see what happens in another month or two when schools reopen and they send the kids back. Because if you honestly expect kids to social distance, yeah, come on, pull up. I guarantee you there's teenagers out there right now that are, well, 
even before when things were crazy, that there's teenagers out there that were like leaving their house to go meet up with their significant other, like their boyfriend, girlfriend, and breaking protocol, cross-contaminating. You know, teenagers get the severity, but they're sometimes disobedient, and it is what it is, but... So you think of reopening the schools is going to solve the problems. And I don't know, my personal favorite quote that I've seen throughout this whole thing was, the only reason why we have to reopen up these stores is not for your convenience, it is to save the economy. So, once again, proving my point that money is more important than human life. This is the world we live in. A dollar bill, or... You know, in the case of us Canucks, this stupid thing, this loony dollar coin, has more value than a human life. Because if the economy fails, then everything fails. No, if the economy fails, these billionaires out there no longer have value. That's what fails. These guys become pointless. Not us. Life goes on for us. These billionaires all of a sudden lose all their power, and we can't have that happening now, can we? That would be drastic. That would be horrible. Imagine a bunch of bonehead billionaires who are running us into the ground, making iPhones and and junk and, and all that, all of a sudden losing all their power. Oh, man. The world would stop. That's sarcasm. All I know is I was talking to the, the manager and said, so, like, you just gave us these new phones. I, I got mine on Friday, by the way, in case I didn't. I think I showed that. I already said that. Yeah, I said that on that vlog. Eh, iPhone 7. I found it funny. I set it all up. One of the one of the, the uh, colleagues from my office was freaking out because they sent her an iPhone 6. Um, they only had so many iPhone 7s on bulk for... Because uh, they literally ordered 2,000 phones. Uh, not just for us, for like everybody. Some people got... I requested a Samsung. I got an iPhone. I was like, whatever. Because the two phones that were optional were the Samsung or the Samsung S9 or the iPhone 7. And I was like, oh, God, get me an Android. I really don't want an iFail. But I got an iFail, so whatever. And sure enough, I sent... Uh, like, I'm, I really hate Apple, but, like, I'm not using this thing for anything more than just making calls, so... It's not getting apps. It's not getting any sort of anything. It's literally to do calls so I can do my job without using my own assets. That's literally what they want us to use it for. Uh, one of the... Uh, one of my colleagues at work is upset because uh, they sent an iPhone 6 to her. She's all upset. She's like, I got an iPhone 6. This is stupid. I'm so upset. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, who cares, man? I'm just making calls with it. Like... What's the big freaking deal? Well, then trade me. And I'm like, well, I would, but I already set this one up. So I don't feel like going through the whole hassle again. Deal. Like, it's not a person. And a lot of people are canceling their phones, like their own personal phones now. And I'm like, why would you do that? I'm not about to cancel my cell phone because company gave me a work phone. I want nobody to have this cell phone number. Literally, this phone is not going to leave my desk. I'm not going to be walking around with it. I'm not going to be doing anything with it. I'm just going to let it sit at my desk. I'm going to log into it in the morning, do my work. At 5 o'clock, I'm going to log out. And the phone's still just going to sit there. Hell, I might not even take it off the charger. I might just leave it on the charger all the damn time. I don't care if I purge the battery. <laughs> Whatever. It's, it's not my phone. It's a company phone that is going to stay where I do my work. In my office. Never to leave there again. Anyway, guys, French toast is done. I'm just going to top it and go eat. Oh, bun apple treats, people. Damn, son. Not you guys. Look at it out there. I don't know if it's going to rain or not, but I do know one thing. I'm about to make it rain. I have to urinate. Okay, go somewhere. Freaking cat. Just standing in the middle of the step, like, gandolfing the shit out of me. Oh, my God, these animals. I tell you. It's like a farm in here. So it's just a cat and a dog, and that's it. Oh, big, big thanks to Gen Next Tactics, or Gen After Next Tactics. I'm so bad with names. Uh, you, you got a good point, man, about what I need to do on my bike rides when I want to go for an epic long time and I'm about to hit failure. Bring a pre-workout with me. Hell yeah. You know, I don't have any left, though. That's a problem. All I got is is uh, a little bit. I got to buy some more one of these days. I don't even use this stuff when I'm working out now. Like, I found that if I need more jam, I just drink a coffee. 
Get some caffeine in me. Caffeine goes a long way. Like I'm telling you. I've lived my life one coffee after another for a long time. And they say that coffee, uh, every coffee you drink takes 10 minutes off your life. That's what somebody said. So if that's the case, I should have died 23 years ago. But hey, look at me go. But what I might do is buy some cheap six star uh, Amino Plus Energy from uh, Walmart. You can get it for like 20 bucks. 30 jar serving. And then I can just take like a shaker cup like this, load some powder into it, and then just take my one liter bottle of water here, this jobby right here, and just tuck her in the back. When the going gets tough, just freaking crack open the shaker cup, pour some water into it, give it an old shaky shaky like you're running a shake weight, drive it in my face hole, wait five minutes, feel the electro surge, and then rip like I've never ripped before. Because I know when I used to do the uh, pre-workouts before a bike ride, uh, the jam, like I was just loaded with like some serious raspberry jam. Had tons of potential, tons of power on the bike. And no problems. Didn't feel fatigued. Didn't Yesterday that feeling was like, wow. It literally felt like when I was pedaling the bike that I was trying to move a mountain. Like everything was, it felt like everything was binding up, but it wasn't. It was just me. My body was telling me, like, dude, you just did 80 kilometers, and now you expect to do it again after going fishing and not resting? Are you stupid? You're not going to be effective today. And I was like, I know, body, but, like, let's just try and get through this. And it was like, nope. I just let you guys in on a conversation that happened inside my brain. Consider yourselves lucky. Sure. Anyway, one thing I did notice about editing of the videos is... The GoPro audio sounds more better than this audio here from this DJI. But then I mentioned the other day on my vlog that uh, I found an adapter for this camera here to add an external mic. My only problem is, is number one, there's nowhere really to attach an external mic to said camera. I could get a lapel mic and put it on my tits and then just talk to it and it would sound better. Uh, do I have a lapel mic upstairs? I might have a lapel mic. Let me go see if I have a lapel mic. I don't know why I go downstairs all the time. Probably just because I can pace better. Oh man, my legs are dying. But yeah, I got um, the only mic I have that's any good is the old uh, Chinese tax star here. Let me show you a difference between the audio now. Here's me talking, blah, 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 blah. And then with the tax star on, it just it sounds so much better, right? Like way cleaner. Problem is, is this thing's so chongous, I have nowhere to put it. Oh man, I wonder if that came through louder. Like I used to have this bracket that one end had a screw into the bottom tripod thingy and the other end had a hot shoe mount or not a hot shoe but just a shoe mount and if I could find that that would solve my problem because I could just mount this camera screwed into the tripod end and then hook up the mic on and that would make for a decent audio and video rig to an extent except when it doesn't and I know it's in one of these one of these things with all my camera and old vaping supplies and you know what I'm kind of weird about? I bought a bag of cotton balls back in the day when I used to make my own like uh when I used to wick my own freaking darts. And I lost them. All I have is the Chinese or the Japanese. I don't even know where the Japanese pads went. Like I had a whole container of Japanese cotton pads. And the reason why I want them is last time I was at Walmart, I bought a tub of petroleum jelly because I wanted to make fire starters. Because last night when we went fishing, we had a fire and like the kids got it going pretty good. So that's all right. But I like to use those as a fire starter. They, they basically burn for like five minutes. So it gets to the area nice and dry and the material like your wood hot. So it catches. But for the life of me, I have no idea where the hell I put them. I think I threw them in the garbage when I did my great purge. I'm not done doing a great purge. I'm honestly thinking about grabbing all those darts off that shelf and throwing them in the garbage because whoa, they don't work. Half of them are shot. I don't even know why I kept them. Oh, because I'm a pack rat. Well, I didn't find my bracket, but I did find one of my lapel mics. Sounds like there's shit moving inside of it. Probably doesn't work. Let's plug it in and find out. Okay, well, I see the VU meter moving. Um, I'm basically holding it up in my face. I don't know if I can hold it back here if it'll pick me up, but I think it's... It's basically got to be on me. My biggest concern is when it moves around, I can hear noise. So it sounds like the actual diaphragm part of the mic is moving around. Really wish I could find that thing so I could hook my boom mic up to this. This would be nice. Or I could just do myself a solid and get an actual lapel mic that isn't a pile of shit and be good to go. But 
I'm sure that thing's around here somewhere. The problem is, is when I put things away, I'd never organize them. And you know how we do. You never organize it, and then and then you go looking for it, and you can't find it, and then it's always in the last place you look, because once you find it, you quit looking. Holy crap. You guys remember this Chinese freaking screen recorder? Oh, no, this piece of shit still works. Oh, well, I'll look around for it. Until then, I might come up with another solution. It'll probably be pretty ghetto made out of wood. I should probably not come up with a solution. I know they actually have ways to, uh, like, Amazon sells kits for these things where you can hook it up with your phone and everything. Um, yeah. Like, in all honesty, something like that would actually work pretty good. Simple little clip on the bottom. Like, you screw this end here into the bottom of my little tripod thing. And then over here, you got three, three shoe mounts. Like, in the picture here, they got a light, which I have a light. They have a mic, and then, I don't know, put something on the other side. Maybe some french fries. Like, that looks like a pretty involved rig right there, eh? Like, that's pretty hardcore carrying that around. That'd be like, holy crap. Kind of looks like it should make you food. Like, it should be able to make my French toast in the morning. Probably. Well, you know, I'm sitting there and I'm like, my friend messages me and she goes, Hey, you going biking today? And, like, my brain's like, man, that'd be great to get out there and get another, like, 30, 40, 50 kilometers knocked off the whole shebang and, you know, get down into the 500 club. Am I in the 500 club? I don't think so. No. No, 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 we're not. But then, you know, I feel my legs, and my legs are just on fire right now. They're fried. But what sucks is the rest of my body isn't. I figure what we're going to do today is we're going to keep with the original plan. We're not going to go for a rip. Instead, we're going to lift. So that's the battle plan. I was going to make a pre-workout, but I kind of don't want to because I kind of want to save that. Uh, like I said, I don't have much of this. I was thinking about just going to Walmart and buying some of that cheap shit that I've been buying. Like, I got a little bit left in there, but it's mainly those packets of, uh, the anti-moisture. This stuff I love. This stuff for biking would be mint. Citrullium malate. I like it unflavored. Guys, it tastes like, um, like, a sour powder that goes on gummy bears. This stuff is great for shedding lactic acid and for getting your body, uh... Like, you don't get the burn. Like, you get, sorry, you, you get the burn. You always get a muscle burn when you do, like, intense, the lactic acid builds up. But you stop pedaling for a second, and you take a re uh, rest while coasting, and you can feel it mobilizing. Like, you can feel the lactic acid just leaving the area because the citrullium malate, uh, one of the side effects is that. Uh, it'll basically help convert the, the uh, lactic acid with the creatine back into adrenosine triphosphate so your body has more jam and you can give her harder faster longer on the ride i was like you know what it would be a good idea to go for a rip today but everything hurts everything below the belt is annihilated my knees are sore my thighs are sore my calves are sore my ankle hurts i don't even know why my ankle would hurt it doesn't really get involved in biking but it decided to join in on the fun so that's happening today so I figure what I'm going to do is, um, I was going to make a coffee, but Dum Dum over here left his cup upstairs and the Keurig is turned off and I don't know, maybe I got coffee in my thermos, it'd be kind of cold, but I'll, I'll pound that, I don't care. I could chug like two cups of that, piss myself and then come downstairs and just throw the weights around. But um, I figure what I'll do is I'll just go to Walmart and buy that six star like Aminos plus energy. Yeah, it's got sugar in it, but you know what? Sugar gives you more jam on the trails, so even though I don't really go on the trails. But if I ever did go on the trails, well, then I'd be on the trails. But uh, this week, Monday through Friday, I'm going to try and get out there as much as possible and bang out as many of these kilometers as possible. Because I like to do more on the weekends than have to ride a bike to hit my goal. And even though, guys, I mentioned I don't have to do 800 kilometers like... The Sick Kids Charity already got the money. It's over. Um, it's not over. People can still donate. But what I mean is I put in, I said, I'm going to do for every kilometer over $500 or every dollar over $500, I'm going to add a kilometer on. People donated. Businesses donated $825. They want to see me destroy myself. So I figured the least I can do is kill myself for them. Wow, did that sound bad. But like uh, this weekend, like I'd like to get working on that wash machine and de-drum it because I'm going to use that drum for a fire pit. I got to call the fire dicks, get them over here, have them investigate the backyard, tell me where I can put a pit because I really want to burn pit. I, last night, okay, we had that little campfire. You know what? That was 
fun. Little campfire. I wish we had better lights. Like, you saw how dark it was. There's no way of getting around it. It, with the sun setting so fast now, and it's only going to get worse as winter sets in. Every, after June 20th, forget it. It's all downhill from there, boys. It starts getting darker earlier. But that fire broke the darkness nicely. We had a good fire going, but it was getting to the point where we weren't pulling anything up. We kept snagging, losing jig heads. Trying to tie a jig head on when you can't freaking see, not fun. I almost want to get, like I have my headlamp, it's fine, but it's too spot, not enough flood. I'd like to get some sort of a, and that's what I was hoping my little lantern would do. You know, I was hoping this thing here, in this configuration, would have thrown enough light to flood the area, but nope. Now, Canadian Tire sells one that's pretty sweet. It's kind of expensive. I can't afford it, but uh, one day I will. Actually, no, I could afford it because YouTube. I could just use the YouTube money to buy it. Um, it's a tripod-based Cree LED system where you set up your tripod, and it's got three wings off of it that have LEDs on it, and it's battery-powered, good for about four hours of light on high and about 12 on low and you can literally aim each one of the wings to throw light in different directions so that you can illuminate and flood an area with light so you can actually see at night now would it be bright enough for video probably not but would it be bright enough to tie on a jig head you're damn skippy it would be see that would be kind of sweet but i got to thinking about another thing here is uh like my buddy eric he um he makes his own jig heads and he told me like with the amount of times he gets snags, buying jig heads is just financially irresponsible for him. So he decided to cut his losses. He went on Amazon. He bought a lead pot. He said it wasn't that expensive. Literally, it's an electric pot. You plug it into the wall. It, it uh, heats up, melts lead down, and then you have a lever and you pull it and it drops lead out and drops. So what you do is you get a, it's like a mold, an aluminum mold. Is it aluminum? Could be steel. I don't know. It's a mold anyway. And you just, you lay your hook inside of it. And it's got the little thing that comes out for tying off on. And then you pour your aluminum into the mold. Let it cool. Boom. Jig head. And it's got different ounces for different whatever. Lighter jig heads for lighter, you know, whatever the case may be. Like your sink rate that you want it to sink at. So if you want a lighter jig head, if you want it to sink slowly, use a smaller... Anyway, um, what he does for the lead, though, and that's probably what a lot of people are asking, where the hell did you get your lead from? He goes around to mechanic shops and asks them uh, if they have any tire weights. Tire weights that they clip onto your tires when they're doing balancing are literally lead. So he just takes like a scoop of those, throws them in his lead pot, turns it on, lets it break them down into natural lead, and then, boom, pours his molds. And I was like, man, that'd be sweet. Like, with the amount of jig heads, like, I swear last night my friend lost six. I lost two. So that's eight jig heads total. Kind of sucks losing jig heads big time. And, yeah, it even sucks harder when you don't have the tool to take the paint off them. Because when they paint these things, they don't sit there with a brush and paint them. No, they just flip them upside down, dunk them right into the, uh, the paint, and then just sit them on a table, let them dry, or hang them and let them dry. And drip dry and the thing is is the uh, eyelid for the uh, the line gets covered in paint and then you're kind of cocked over so you when you're out there on the beach and you're like oh man what the hell am I gonna do normally I just grab an old hook and just go inside the eyelid and just work it around and peel up the paint but yeah it'd be nice to make your own jigs it'd be nice to make your own a lot of things it'd be nice to not have to rely on corporations to uh, acquire items to do fun things but sometimes you gotta because there's no other way around it. But like if other people are making jig heads, you can make jig heads too. If uh, fishing is something that I heavily get into and I really enjoy it, I may get into making my own jig heads. I still want to try uh, Texas hooks or uh, Texas rigs and different hook styles and such. I want, I want to try some more top water. Apparently in the fall, top water is pretty good. Um, that's what a lot of people are saying. I know my buddy went to the lake out on 17 and he literally was uh doing the run i did the corbeal run and on his way by he was like hey i got an idea and he went down uh jumped the barricade and went down and started fishing that lake and he was using top water just a little uh a little crankbait there a little top water and he pulled up a couple bass he didn't keep them because he had nowhere to put them because he was on his bike but uh, he tried it and he's like dude he's like, 
you throw your uh, torpedo out there, if you have a whopper plopper or anything at all, you fire it out there, you start reeling it in, the bass get pissed and they strike. <laughs> he was like, he couldn't believe it. Um, he's got himself a little collapsible fishing rod too. That's the reason, like when he showed me his setup for biking, I was like, man, I kind of want that. And I regretted getting rid of my old telescopic rod. But then my buddy came through to me and he hooked me up with a, a Zebco telescopic rod that he bought for his kid. His kid didn't want to fish. So, hey, sweet deal, sweet deal. So now we got bike fishing. We just haven't done it yet because, holy crap, kilometers sucks. Anywho, so I'm going to go upstairs and get some freaking coffee going. Uh, it's 2.30 now in the afternoon, so we're going to slam some coffee. Get uh, super friggin' jacked and come downstairs, throw around some weights, get stronger, get faster, get better. The amount that I'm farting, I almost have a feeling that I need to sit on the toilet for a minute and cry. Holy shiitake mushrooms, look at it out there. It's all blue skies and barfy burgers. What's really going on? Look at that. Look at the sun. Look at those dandelions on my neighbor's lawn. That sucks. Any freaking hoozle, guys. We did a workout. Gave myself a haircut. Look at me. You know that I look pretty? Probably not. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to go and get groceries because we need food. Uh, I want to pick up a pack of the chicken, ground chicken freaking loafs so I can make burgers throughout the week. Got to pick up some buns. Got to pick up some egg whites. Got to pick up some bread. Um, what am I doing for dinner? Oh, yeah. Chicken burgers. Uh, for lunch, I got tornadoes. Not a big deal. Good enough. Good stuff. Going to keep it low calorie, high protein, super freaking awesome time. But tonight for supper, we got ourselves 130 grams of sheep head to fry up. But that's not all we're going to do. I think I also want to do some shrimp. But before we do anything, where the hell are my keys? I asked that question way too many times on this vlog. Way too many times. And not in this vlog, just in general on vlogs. All right, let's get out to the truck. I got my wallet, got my phone, got my keys, my glasses, masks in the truck. Good enough, good stuff. Let's pitter patter, have at her. Oh, it's just like simply a beauty day out right now. Like, I, I feel kind of asshole-ish for not going for a bike ride. Like, look at it out here. I would ride my bike to the grocery store, but the amount of food that I'm picking up, I don't want any of it to thaw out on the ride back, so. Um, Truckosaurus it is. I left this damn thing unlocked all night. Oh man, what's missing? What'd they steal? I really need to quit doing that. I have this horrible habit of leaving this damn thing unlocked ever since the pandemic. I gotta smarten up. People watching this video now know this. Like, what if they stole my bottle of hand sanitizer? Guys, that's like $180 worth right there. I think I probably would have cried. Anyway, let's um, fire up Super Beast here and we'll take a rip over to the grocery store, pick up some noms, come back, and uh, get going on dinner because, yeah, kind of hungry after that workout and I wanna eat. So let's go. Alrighty guys, we are down here at Food Basics. Check this shit out. Basket of peaches, three eighty-eight each. Mm, if only I like peaches. And cauliflower, two for five bucks. I bet you they're shit. Let's go inside and get the food. Alrighty, we just got out of uh, Food Basics there and we got ourselves our groceries. So uh, let's head her home. Going to be trying something different that I've never tried. And basically what I'm going to try is air frying shrimp. I love shrimp. I just never buy it and cook it because, to be fair, I have no freaking idea what the hell I'm doing. So tonight we're going to risk it for a biscuit and see if we can bang out some shrimp. Let's pitter patter, have at her, and head her home. All right, we're home. Look, somebody missed me. Somebody missed me in the window. Oh, poor scampers. Stuck home alone with my stupid puppy dog. Oh yeah, she's mad. I'm going to have to go inside and say hi. But first, I got to grab my groceries, so let's go ahead and do that now. There they be. Yeah, we got coffee. So happy. All right, it's five o'clock right on the button. Time to make some din-din. So I've been buying this no-name coffee. It's uh, a selection, our original roast. And you know what? I kind of like it better than Maxwell House. It's got more bang. Uh, last one I bought was a medium roast. This one here is also a medium roast. I thought I bought dark roast last time. Guess not. I also bought my logs of extra lean ground turkey. This is what I've been using to make my burgers every day. And this stuff is fan damn -tastic. There's two spices in this house that I use a lot of. One of them is garlic salt, because garlic, salt, and pepper. GSP, if you want it for short. Really fantastic on pretty much everything you cook. And cinnamon, because I make French toast every day, and I just douse it with the cinnamon. Awesome stuff. Figured I can't just eat meat tonight. Well, theoretically I could, but figured I should get some greens in. So I bought myself one of these uh, bag salads there on for $2.99. This is the uh, triple quinoa. Quinoa, quinoa, quinoa. I don't speak whatever language that is. But anyway, I got this kind. Basically bought some Pacific Wild Shrimp. 
Uh, they're pacifically awesome. See what I did there? People say, instead of saying specific, they say Pacific. So, yeah, it's fun. Anyway, uh, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to toss it in the air fryer. I don't know if I'm going to do the whole bag, but I'm probably going to do the whole bag. Uh, they say there's around 60 shrimp in there. I can slam 60 shrimp, some fish, and salad. It's going to be one hell of a poop tomorrow. Got some more Dempster hamburger buns for said hamburgers. I love these things. They taste great. They're awesome, and they work. Also bought two loaves of whole wheat bread because I love it for the French toast. Keeps the toast firm and uh, fills you up and it's really delicious. So two loaves of bread of every package of Kellogg's bread brand. That was the product. That probably be their slogan. Probably not. And last but not least, you can't have French toast without egg whites. Well, you could. You can do your whole eggs, but I like the egg whites because it keeps the calories down, keeps the protein up, and keeps the uh, body in anabolic check. So... Um, got two of these. I'm only showing one on camera because it's bitch to grip them both. We're good for the week for food. So my battle plan, whether you choose to accept it or not, for this uh, shrimp, shrimp, shrimp mania. Where the hell did I put the shrimp? Oh, I totally found them. Um, from what I read online, you can totally just drill these in the air fryer, frozen, and just nail them for like for like ten minutes. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna thaw them in a strainer, and then we're gonna drill them in the air fryer and blast them. Just like that. Look at that beautiful mess of friggin' chicken wings from the sea. Alrighty, what I'm probably gonna do, and by that I mean I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna put these guys in here, blast them for 10, maybe 15. We'll check on them, and then uh, probably shake them up, and then blast them again for five. So while that's doing its thing, we're gonna grab a pan, and we're probably gonna use this for cooking. Get that nice and preheated. I gotta rock a piss after cleaning off those friggin' shrimp. Holy crap, I'm running that water. Made my bladder go, hey, that's not a bad idea. All right, so I'm just gonna do the typical butter frying of this thing, of these fish. They've been soaking in brine, so, or like salt water. I don't know if you call that a brine. We'll call it a brine. One of the biggest problems with sheephead is all the friggin' scales, man. It's like a 16 year old girl discovering glitter for the first time. All right, so as for the salad, these are easy. Just pour all the contents of the bag inside of a bowl and then stir it up and salad. You ever wonder what potting soil smelled like without having to buy potting soil? Just buy this salad and give her a good hydraulic snort. Damn, that salad looks like snot. 130 grams of fish. Air fryer shut off while I was weighing out the fish. Because I like to keep an eye on how much I'm consuming and to see where my protein score is at the end of the day. Because I'm a statistic person like that. All right, let's take a look at this shrimp and see what it looks like now. Okay, that looks pretty good. Give them the old stir up here. Shimmy shake them, shimmy shake them. Drop them back in. They probably don't need to go in that long, but we're gonna do it anyway. So that was this fish. I love it. Like, it's so tough. Like, yeah, yeah. If you have pickerel or walleye, whatever you want to call it, you literally stick your fork in it and it falls apart. It's so flaky and fall apart in your face, melt in your mouth. You have perch. It's pretty much the same. You have trout. It's definitely the same trout you don't even need to take the skin off you don't just chop the head off score it throw it in the pan good to go but drum literally has the consistency of chicken like my buddy tried it and he's like dude i know that flavor from somewhere and i'm like yeah great value imitation crab meat bam like honestly if you could eat this shit raw i would just use it in freaking sushi and nobody know the difference they would think oh wow this is some interesting freaking crab meat you got there where'd you get that and i'd be like lick nipping Anyway, I'm just going to wait for these little shellfish to be done. I've never really cooked shrimp before. I think you're supposed to dip them in butter. I should have kept the butter from the shit. Oh, I got some butter. I can uh, melt some butter here and use it for dipping. That's good. Oh, I'm so stoked to drive this in my face hole. It's going to be freaking awesome. It's going to be so good. So good. Did you just, like, sneeze? You got the COVID? Bud? Bud. I'm talking to you. Is that a no? Seriously? Seriously. Hey, hey, hey! Jesus, Murphy, she goes and takes a shit and then comes back to eat. And... Anyway, I have no idea how much shrimp this is. Yeah, those gotta be cooked. Let's just leave them in for a couple more minutes. And then we'll, uh, probably give the animals some food. And by food, I mean water. And by water, I mean water. What did I do last week for supper? Oh yeah, I kept having protein ice cream. That was a pretty good supper. That held me over all night. Like, I literally would come... Oh, no, because I would go out and get a burger afterwards. That's right. Forgot about my uh, my dirty runs going... By dirty runs, I don't mean my pants. I mean, um, I would go up for a long bike ride and then stop off at A&W and get some burgers. God, those are good burgers, So I love the teen burger. It's like my favorite. But I had some buddy burgers, and uh, let me just tell you, those are pretty fabulous, too. Alrighty, these uh, chicken wings from the ocean got to be done. Let me just weigh them out. 
so I can get an accurate depiction of how much protein I'm going to be ingesting, and we'll go from there. All right, 180 grams worth. Sweet. Let's go ahead and pour these in the plate. Let me show you the Mediterranean dinner I'm having. So there we go. We got some drum. Got some shrimp. Not sure how these taste. Only one way to find out. Dip them in a little garlic butter there. Oh man. Oh my god. I am so doing that again. That is fan damn tastic. Jean Claude fan damn tastic. All right. I'm gonna go eat some shrimp. Eat some fish. Get some protein. Have some salad that looks like baby vomit. It's gonna be a good night. Just finished doing a photo edit for Rex. He wanted. He went to a. I don't know where he went. He went to like a Saturn dealership or a car dealership with a bunch of other Saturn people. And he wanted his car to look like they're at a Saturn dealership. So uh, I uh, used my powers in Photoshop and came up with this render. You can check it out. It's pretty sweet. And like th this is the original and this is what I came up with. So there you go. You can get the basics. Anyway, it's beautiful out. I'm sitting in my room. I'm only 2,500 calories burnt today. I definitely want to hit 3,000. So what I think I'm going to do is... We're gonna go for a quick little jaunt on the bike, and by a quick little jaunt, I mean we're gonna go down to the waterfront and do the tour. The tour, the same tour I've been doing all this time. All right, gonna let shit break out, and then I'm gonna hit the road. Freaking went to open the door and slammed it on the cat. Didn't even realize she was back there, poor little girl. Well, there's not much room back there. Why are you going back there? You're stupid. Okay, okay, get, get out of there. Jesus, Murphy, you're just a glutton for punishment. So we'll let this thing do its thing and then things will happen. I'd like to find that uh, attachment for... I originally bought it. I can't remember for what camera. I think it was for the Sony. I also got to fix this. I got these nails sticking out of the side here. I have no idea what the heck Buddy's intentions were for it. But his lead keeps getting tangled on it. Want to go back inside? Come on, Drufus. Let's go. Inside. Back it up. Back it up. 10-4. Back it up. But yeah, I have no idea what the hell uh, Rex's big idea was with those nails in there, but we'll figure it out. I'm going to end up removing them anyway. Just want to make sure I lock my truck because I'm stupid lately. been leaving it unlocked. Uh, needles are down. Truck is locked. Good. So, last minute decision. I was like, hey, you know what? I'm sitting at my desk watching YouTube. Getting fat. Not freaking doing anything. Why don't I come out here, jump on the bike, go for a rip. We get 17 kilometers in. Hey, that's 17 less kilometers I got to do again. Oh, man. I forgot the freaking attachment for the GoPro. You know what? Skirt, we're just gonna use this camera. Brought the GoPro, I'm not gonna use the GoPro. Just gonna stab you guys right onto this mount. There, good enough, good stuff. Don't always need to use the GoPro, we can use other things. But, like I said, I do wanna find the, uh, the thing so that I can attach the guy and do the stuff and get better audio on these vlogs, cause well, let me tell you, the audio out of this camera's stock microphone is kinda shite and all over the place. Like right now, you're probably having a hard time hearing me. Alright, let's get this thing outside. Do I have too much weight in the pannier bags? You know what? The pannier bags are wide open. Let me fix this. Jesus, Murphy. What the hell's going on with my life? Almost take, you know what? I'm going to take my fishing stuff out of the bike for now. I really don't need the extra weight. Ah, you know what? No, forget it. I'll leave it in there. I don't care. Ah, uh, but one thing I do want to do is grab some water from the house. I do not like riding without water. I'm just going to grab my jug. I'm not going to grab the backpack. We'll come back. We'll get this set up. Good to go. All right, guys. Let's go for a tour de France. And by that, I mean, let's just go for a ride.
Alright guys, uh, I've been home for a bit. Uh, I filled up the damn card on the freaking camera. I really need to invest in a bigger card for this camera if I'm going to be vlogging with it. But for now, whatever it is what it is. 32 kilometers, that's what we did. Pretty good rip, I, I say so myself anyway. Uh, we're in the under 500 club, 495 now, so that's pretty awesome I guess. Got home, emptied off the camera because it needed it. Honestly don't know why she sleeps there because I'm going to open this door. And, like, she doesn't even... She just gets up and backs away. Like, she doesn't sidestep or nothing. Freaking cat. Well, I'm gonna just make sure there. Uh, there's no skunks around. I didn't see any on my ride home, but my friend hit one with her car. That car's gonna smell delicious for the next little while. And I'd hate it if Oreo got shanked with a freaking skunk. Unk. Because I say skunk because I'm shitting my pants. And you know that's gonna smell fantastic because of all the protein I've been eating lately. Oh, man. Protein farts are awesome. Come on, Oreo. Yeah, this one. He just needed to go. He shouldn't have to poop. Yeah, I was trying to find the, the clip for my shirt for the lapel mic because honestly, the lapel mic sounded better than the tax are, which is kind of sad because I know I only paid like, like two bucks per lapel mic back in the day. And I know there's one in my motorcycle helmet or my motocross helmet or whatever. The helmet I used to use for fat biking. Or fat biking, Jesus Murphy, mini biking. But I don't feel like digging through and taking that all out. Probably won't ever use that for anything again, though. Maybe I'll use it on the fat bike, if, or you know, not on that fat bike, because I'll never take it off road, because it'll fall apart because it's built by shit. But <laughs> that's literally a fat tired street bike. That's all she's gonna be. Oh well. Realized today that when I did my groceries, I frigged up. I should have went and grabbed more uh, maple syrup. Got enough left for the next couple days, but. We're not going to make it to the weekend, that's for sure. Even though I could probably eat those uh, those things with no syrup, it would probably be okay. Probably taste just as good. Because this uh, friggin' chocolate banana revolution protein powder here, let me tell you, adds some serious flavor to everything it gets, gets into. Ice cream, shakes, whatever. I think I'm going to stick with that flavor for now on or until a new flavor comes out that looks pretty good. I'll get that instead. But yeah, good bike ride. I literally just went up and down the paceway a bunch of times. Clock, clock some kilometers, 32 kilometers today. Pretty good for a guy who didn't want to go biking because his legs are sore. But you know what I noticed is after a day of eating some good food, even though I did lift today too, uh, my legs were in better shape tonight than they were yesterday during the day. But I am going to take the idea from Next Gen Tactics and get some pre-workout and carry it with me on the bike in a shaker cup dry. Like I'll probably use... This Magnum shaker cup here. Just put the powder in there, dry, have it in the back, and then when I'm going out for like a hard rip and I need to uh, get some more jam, then I'll mix myself up a shaker cup. What the hell are you looking at me like that for? Why is your face wet? Anyway, guys, it's like 10.30, and I need to uh, go to bed. Tomorrow, it's back to reality, back to work. Ah, oh, shit, I forgot to pair that iPhone with my friggin' headset. I guess I could do that now. Oh, whatever. Anyway, on that note, people, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, click the like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And until next time, guys, stay safe and peace the frig out. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.